Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of uh, Farming Simulator 17. We're in Goldcrest Valley, and we need to deal with uh, sugar beets today. Looking out over there, the the topper that we hired last time is just finishing off. Looks like one row left over there. Where are we going to put these sugar beets? I'm so resisting calling them sweet potatoes. <laughs> um, yeah. You know what I thought about? Let's jump into the placeables. The potatoes we're going to dump into a bay like this over there at the potato field. Field 3, I think it was. Maybe not. And because it's got concrete walls all around it. This bay, which we're using right over, well, behind us right here, does have one of those bays. I'm wondering if this can fit on the farm here somewhere. Let's buy one of you and that's a possibility. Okay, this is a possibility over in this area too. Huh. As far as unloading it, that's what's going through my mind right now. We can put the conveyor right in the middle and stick it out the sides. Whereas here, it's a little bit further away to dump our, our sugar beets, but we can get behind it real easy with a trailer if we stick the conveyors out the back. That's interesting. Now, I don't want to do it across from here because some of the equipment will turn around in this area. But we could go as early as right here. I'm looking at the slope of the hill. We either get at the very top, which means the conveyor is sticking out the back end where we want to drive, or we go a little further in. In fact, it's too steep to even put it there. So we're losing a lot of the back wall here because it has to the front wall has to drop down drop down so far. And here we get the full height of it. Let's go for there. Now are we pretty much parallel? How do we tell that? We can tell by the field there. That looks pretty good. Looks pretty parallel to the field. So just past the road, like that. I can go back only to right there. Let's, now is there anything I'm forgetting? Turnarounds. Let's go toward that road over there. In case somebody turns around this corner of the field right over here and they need to you know, take a, a long sweeping turn. So against the dirt over there and down till it turns green right there okay so out of you and boy it feels quiet let's see i want i see he just finished over there um let's get over there how do i right there go back yep the noise is on good <laughs> it just felt really silent and we dropped him right over here okay so let's pile sweet potatoes the sweet sugar beets into this one that's not a zoom. <laughs> um, you know what, what I thought about when I was placing that? Let me back out here. What if we set the plow to um, to, to plow, to, to create field, and ran the dirt right on through in front of that new one like a road connecting to it, and then maybe run the cultivator over that? It'll give it a different road texture that would be a little bit closer is this cultivated? This is. Can I get out this far? Oh, rolling that mouse wheel. I bet you I can't get there after all this. Nope, I can't. Um, let's pop out. The plowed texture is too rough for a road. It's got furrows in it. This is the cultivated texture. This could work for a road. Compared to this. We don't really... I don't know of how to lay a road texture down on here without taking this map and running it through... I think there's an editor you can download for the game to create your own map. And there you could replace parts. But we don't have that here. Let's put this guy away while we're thinking about all of this. Actually, no, we could just get him started. Let's do that. Let's pop out of here, get him going... He's about as white as a tractor. 
Yeah, right about there. So hire you out, and we'll kind of watch the process here a little bit. So we're digging into the ground, and can't see what I'm wanting to see, but dirt falls down below, and uh, sugar beets hit that fan. Travel back to this circle over here, eventually into this guy, dumps into there, drops into the hopper right there, which is already half full. You're kidding me. <laughs> okay, tab out of you. I need a tractor. Well, actually, he's sitting right over there. Let's just get this out of the way. We're going to have to dump this thing often. That's where the big one makes a big difference. Fine, but it's a, what, a half a million dollars to buy that thing. Turn you off and jump over here. He's already nearly full. Yeah, we're going to have to babysit this one. That's why I tend not to do the... Uh, sugar beets. Can I, I need to get you from this side. Looks like we're just going to have to drive over the top of them. Yeah. Can I come around this way and kind of block you? And No, not really. Yeah. There. I crushed everything into each other. But I got to get onto the side here. Alright. Or do you unload from the other side? Where do you unload from? I'll bet you you are on the other side. Okay. We're different than the others. Yep. Oh, and he's full. And no warning, he's just going to flip that out on me. <laughs> Alright, we're going to get a lot of sugar beets out of this. We're going to fill many of these. Sugar beets are very proliferous. Is that the word that I want? Because, right in here, see how, how cheap these are? It's because you get so much per field. They're, they're, they're very easy to make mass quantities. Now, you are blocked because of me. Back up. Go for it. All right. So, one pass. Each pass, I'm going to have to dump him down. Wow. Wow. Then let's catch him at the end each time. In fact, let's try to do something that I used to do when I was playing this before I was recording it. Back in Farming Simulator 13. Gotta guess how far out. Oh, it won't work with him, though. It won't work with him. We'll find out. I'm gonna put this here. His spout is... Yeah, the, the tube that dumps his stuff doesn't go up fast enough. So he can't... Unlike the other ones where the, the, the tube comes out the back end already high enough and swings around, his comes up from the bottom. All other harvesters, get out here, I can just leave him parked in the right spot down there and get out of here. And the harvester would stop right alongside of it and drop the tube swing out the tube and dump off at the end so I can leave him at the end go off and do other things then come back after he's long past dumped himself into the the uh, the tippers for me and moved on and continued cleaning up we're not going to get that option here unfortunately so I'll, this one is going to be a babysitting episode but he was able to get himself back on path even though he got bumped out of the way so his next pass is going to come through here. I'm going to have to catch him right down in this area. We're just going to have to run this thing each time. So what else needs to be done this episode? Think about things here. I've got to stay out of his way. And let's see, my list. That's one thing we could do. So how do I do this? I want to go look at the fields. Let's see what the potatoes look like at the stage of growth. Let's see what the poplars look like at that stage of growth. So there's that to do. I wanted to go drive around, look at the greenhouses again. Um, let's dump him off. And well, I guess we're going to use Uber a lot this time. We're going to be just toggling back and forth between, say, this one and the Massey Ferguson over there. Now, you don't have room to back up. So you're smart enough to back straight up and make your turn. Boy, I wish the plows could do that. That would solve all the plow problems. 
let's let him do his thing. In fact, I'll bet you I'm already too far away. Oops. Yep, I am. <laughs> Can I salvage this? Maybe. Let's get you going. His beacon's going. That's his warning to us that he's about full. Don't want that thing to jump out and surprise me. Okay. Up oh, there it is. Now, hop under it. There we go. Grain tank is full. So we get basically one run and a couple of tippers length, and that's it each time. Um, this is going to finish off the first one. So if that is one tipper there and one big tipper... What do we got in here? At least 10 tippers. And we've got to dump these things. That's going to be a challenge, too. You just pour that on my cab. <laughs> so let's get him down there, jump into the Massey Ferguson, and... Yeah, we'll just leave him right there. Wow. Not going to get much else done. So that's a it didn't work. The warrior's always with the Ferguson. I have to go through the run? To straighten him up? No, it has reordered it. Oh, no, I'm, I'm mistaken. That's the warrior. Ah, hold on. Unhire. Let's swap tractors. i got to make this easier. So, I'm going to drop you. This must be the warrior. Which is right next to this one. No, I'm sorry, this is the S-Class, the Voltra. This is the Warrior. Right? No. That's the one I don't want. Alright. Little little brain fart there. You are the one I don't want to be toggling in and out of, so I want you doing this job. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to find a way to do something in this episode besides just babysitting this. So, grab you. And did you finish? Oh man, so close. Hire. Can't hire. Why can't I hire? Completed their task. Okay. So, V, B, forward. Now you've completed your task. Okay. So, let's just B and V and drive you around manually. Set you up for the next row. And this being harvesting, you can't accidentally turn the wrong way on us. Grumble, grumble. If you didn't see that episode, you missed out. Alright, hire you. Can you straighten up? I think you can pull it off. Yeah. All right. So hop out. What I'm wanting is the warrior attached to the trailers. So we can go from tippers to the one that is driving out to the poplars, back to tippers every time we need them. All right. Hook you up, and I'm going to need you up here at this other end. I don't need you right now. Maybe we won't finish this. I didn't dump you down there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to change plans. This is going to be a frustrating 40 minutes. Dump you off. And then you're going to fill up pretty quick. Now I'm going to shut. Uh, in fact, let's do it right now. I'll shut you down. Uh, unhire. When you're finished, you're finished. Um, are you off? Now you're off. Okay. All right. Grab you. Let's put him away. Let's do something else. We've seen that done. We don't need to spend the entire episode doing that. I want to get a few specific things done before this series is over. One of them would be to go ahead and dump the sweet potato, the sugar beets, into uh, uh, let's see, let's not do it this way. Into that bay we just put in. Let's go back this way. So from center, then turn into the corner. 
We couldn't get this out last time because it, I put it in wrong. So, about like so. So we need to put the other one away, whoops, in a way that doesn't uh, impede getting to that again. Especially since that's the first one to uh, to be used. But, yeah, we should dump this, the sugar beets into there and maybe even set up, well, do we have a conveyor? No, we don't. The conveyor that we've got is up at the potatoes, which is where we want to go right now. Let's go take a look at that, how those are doing. Oh, let's jump in cab. Yeah, much better. Uh, let's go through the back route here and revisit our, our, uh, our forestry area one more time. We're at 5 speed. Um, it's already 6 p.m., so it's going to be nighttime at the end of this episode, which means we'll get some more growth, more harvest cycles, maybe some tree growth in those saplings we put out last episode. Let's hope. I'd like to, to see their, their stages before we're all done. I feel like I gotta put lights on. Whoa! Gotta put him away someday. Wow! Okay. Let's go up this way. Up here. I block this completely. No, I can sneak around. So we've still got these to put away. Drop down into here. Any sense of a difference? don't think so. I think it's what they look like when we put them in. Okay. But let's get out and see what the, uh, the poplars are looking like first. Then we'll head out to the potatoes. And I wonder how the animals are doing. Let's pop right over here and go into this screen. Pigs. Cleanliness is at zero. So our productivity is, well, it's 85, but it was 85 when it was up there, too. Don't know what to think about that. It's almost like these two have not reset or something. Huh. Not sure. Because so we're 100% there, so that's down. We're 90%. Hmm. Okay. Grass is an issue, too. Got to keep that in mind. Maybe we'll do one more mowing episode before we finish. Anyway, let's continue on out here to the poplars. In fact, let's pop out a cab so we can see them from a distance. Alright, what have we got here? I'm going to stay in the tractor. That's what they're looking like. They kind of looked like that before. Didn't they? Or were they just not as tall? Those do look like poplar leaves, though. Yeah, poplars and birch look very similar to each other. Take another peek at our greenhouses over here. Now, we didn't top off the water on all of them. I wonder how we will know. I wonder if the dirt changes to a different soil or something. That is, that's definitely tomato plants. Yeah, it looks just like tomato plants. Although there's no fruit on them. Why is that? No fruit here either. Huh. Lettuce. No lettuce. I bet you we run out of water. I'll bet we have. Huh. Maybe we'll deal with water this time. Let's, uh, I need to go over there where the potatoes are. You can see them through the trees. I can't get there from here, can I? What is in between? Just a railroad track. I'm curious. I know we can jump the track with this tractor. We, we did that, uh, for logging, though it is quite a drop down there. Let's go, uh, Let's go off-roading here. Yeah, I think so. I won't tell if you won't. Bum, 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 bum. All right. Let's see what the potatoes look like. I think they're in the same stage of growth as the poplars. All right, does that look like potatoes to you? No, I take it back. This is the oil seed radish. I was going to say, it looks like radish to me. It does. Okay. So there's another stage yet here. Ah, I forgot all about that. So we need to get this done so we can plow that in. And then we'll plant the potatoes. Then what? Maybe do our, our you know, harvest field five first, then come back to potatoes last. 
kind of thinking this is going to be a while before it's done. Huh. Okay. Water. Where is water? Water is back at the farm. Let's see if we can take this back uphill. Downhill is easy. Jump the tracks is easy enough. Uphill is a little more of a challenge. Okay, what do we got? That looks like a pathway there. Kind of. Let's go between them. Right in there. Oh, there's some logs down there, too. I was supposed to get those when we did our, our logging episode, wasn't I? <laughs> oh, well. Let's head back to the farm and grab the water tank and see if that's what's causing the greenhouses to go uh, bad. If so, then while well, I picked a convenient area to fertilize them or to, you know, to put the, the manure in there, I didn't pick a convenient area to water them because I don't think there's a good water source nearby. I'm going to have to do some driving to take care of that. There's one right there. There's a, whoa, there's a trough. But that's expensive. Oh, there's a tree. That's going to be a problem. <laughs> Who put that there? All right, take the low road here. Can we bring back the forks too? Let's let's try to do that. That's all down here. Let's grab both of those. All right, forks first. Looks weird having that there. And here's where that pallet was. I drove that over and forgot that I had uh, unstrapped everything. All right. Uh, this angle here. Let's creep it in there. That looks pretty good. Grab you. And pallet fork. Um, I can't see where that is. I can just guess where it is. There. Did I grab it? I think I did. Yeah. Can I get out here? No, I didn't. What happened when I hit Q? Uh, everything's still there. Well, that was weird. Well, let's try this again, then. Tuck in... Like so, don't hit that guy. Right in there. Alright. Maybe I hit it twice. Maybe it popped in and out, but I only heard one noise. Alright, water. I believe he's sitting right there. Yeah. And I also believe he's empty. And we're center. That guy right there is center. Empty. All right. Closest water. Well, easier if I could use my pointer. There we are. We're here. We have a, an area right here to get into. We have an area over here to get into. And we have something right here to get into. I don't think we've been there in this series. Let's try to find that. So around the block, and there's a... Oh, it's this road right here that takes us... No. I don't know. Let's go around the block and see, what the, see if we can find that. I wish... What did I just hit? That was interesting. I wish there was a way, this isn't the way I want to go, to automate the, uh, the tractor and tippers and to hire that job out to go alongside the uh, the harvester. But I guess you know the game expects you to do something on your own. I just couldn't see spending the whole episode doing those sugar beets. Not the most thrilling crop to deal with because the, the pathway is so narrow of the harvester and there's so much fruit coming out of it that uh, you really, you know, like you saw, we just have to babysit it row after row after row. So I think there are more exciting things to do with our time. Blink, 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 blink. 
Alright, first left up here. You see the uh, sunlight's changing colors, getting into evening. Everything's kind of yellow. It's hidden again. That is really strange. Something's not right with the world. I think I could dive off into that little area right there and find that, that shore. Was that my best route? It probably was. Looking at the, the topography of the, the little map down there in the bottom left, you can see there's a lot of hills through here. There is a void or a gap right in here. Kind of, yeah. Now, am I heading? I'm not. I'm trying to get back in this direction. Okay. So from here, there's a drop-off right there. It smooths out over here. I'm looking at the little map. You can see the contours. All right, let's sweep down into this little bowl here. Something like that. Well, hopefully whoever owns... Oh, wow. I tried to turn and it didn't happen. I'll bet you I'm having trouble with uh, needing a wheel weight. Uh, a front weight. I'm turning and nothing's happening. This is really odd. Let me see outside here. Oh, there's the answer. He's sitting on the ground. Aha. Okay. Mystery solved. Good. The game is not broken. I hate when the game's broken. Alright, let's dip him in the water and fill him up. Which looks like we need to get off to the side a little bit. There's kind of a bump right there. Is that enough? It is not. No? No. Okay. Take you further in. It's that depth issue. And he's definitely in the water now. There we go. What is that line right there? Is that like a windshield wiper? Yeah, there's a windshield wiper across there. Interesting. The motor right here. And we're full. Forward? Yes. All right, off to the greenhouses to get those operating again. While I'm doing that, I'm trying to look down at my, uh, my list here. So yeah, potatoes may have to be the last episode now instead of the uh, instead of the uh, field five. Poplars yet to do. We've got the IT runner. Kind of showed how that works. Um, might want to uh, bail that hay back over there. Just see it over there. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. And we might want to do one more mowing somewhere. Get some grass over there to the cows. and Though it's going to take several episodes to actually do silage. Maybe we'll save that for another map. Another Maybe we'll specialize in something. And one of them will be silage. Lots of mowing. Now, is this my turn? I believe it... Nope, it is home right there. All right. We want to go where that white vehicle is. Turn over there. Still haven't decided what to do before, you know, in between this and the, uh, the South American map coming up in the middle of November. We'll pick some other fun little map mod to, to install. And do something out there for a few episodes. Alright, 7,300 liters. Let's start down at the lettuce ones. In fact, that's my turn, isn't it? Yeah. Start down in here. Since they got the least last time. Now, I don't think we came in with a full tank last time. Right there. Seems like it was partial at the time. So maybe there's enough here to do it all. Before when I had done greenhouses, I had left a tractor with the water trailer and every morning came out and topped it all off. I just parked them here permanently with the oldest tractor of that particular map. You know, something I would have sold. Though back then they weren't selling them. Um, or were they? I mean, they weren't, um, let's see, are, they weren't paying maintenance fees on them so that there was no worry about uh, 
something needing to be sold because it was costing you more. This is something that's new with, with uh, 17. Yeah, we should be able to, uh, to fill up all four of these. Good. And while we're here, let's see the improvement. Yep, now we've got lettuce. Like, I'll stay out here this time. As we fill this one, we should see tomatoes show up on those plants. R? No R. R? Back up. Are you full? If you're full, then where's the tomatoes? I always thought they were little red tomatoes on these plants. R. There it is. But no tomatoes. Okay, well, it's a different graphic. You really want to be close. There we go. Okay, well, that's satisfied. And 2,000 yet to go, and I don't see us needing anymore. Let's just leave him here. Yeah, I think so. Let's grab that pallet and get it back. Then what? And then I suppose we can go ahead and finish working with the uh, sugar beets until the end of the episode. I feel like we've done something a little more interesting. So it isn't all sugar beets, so yeah, we can do that. But let's pick this guy up. Woo! Oh, that tree is going to get nailed every time. That's a problem. That'd be the first one to cut down. There's a wreck waiting to happen there. All right, there you are. And drop you, swing you out. Now, if I touch you and then swing up and down, there's flat. If I come up just like that, that might be enough to, to catch this guy by braille. Never tried that. I noticed that when I was trying to load logs. And it, it worked. I mean, look at that. Alright, get you up there so I can see around you. And let's try not to fling you off around a corner. And we'll set you where? Probably with the seeds. Oh, we're picking up speed. Wait, going down that hill. We saw what happened with the logs. It does pick up some speed on that hill. We lose a lot of speed going up the hill, too. But let's... Actually, I think I wanted to turn back there. Yeah, he's really wobbly. Can I get through? I think I can. Let's give that a try. Alright. Let's put him back over here. This is fertilizers. These are feeds. Slow it down. Almost lost them. Now, where to, though? I guess, see if I can tuck it right alongside. Take you down. I can just leave you up so I can see this. All right. Down like so. And that's flat. And up. Now, I'm thinking I can put you kind of right in there. Okay, now the hard part. Make sure you're flat. Right there. And then up just a touch and back out. Nope. Up a touch more. Nope. We're touching too much. Hmm. Okay, then let's push down really hard and try to drag. Yeah, I cannot do this blind. The game won't let me. Alright, you're going to go there. And what is wrong here? Can I see from this side? Kind of. Oh, it's so tough. I can turn the map off over here on the side. I can't turn this other one off. So I'm just stuck. You're going to go... Oh, you're, you're attached to it. It's... Yeah, it's bugged out. Okay. So in that case, let's do... Something like that. We're just going to have to... There, that worked. Okay. That'll be good enough. 
you mm, down, pivot first, then up. That gets me out. All right, well, let's continue working with the sugar beets. You temporarily can just go over here, even though we've got the, the front loader on you. All right, lights off, engine off, and... Hmm, yep, that's a long run. Let's go this route. There you are. So turn you back on. And harvest. We're going to keep from colliding here. You're not wanting to harvest or to, to hire. There you are. That worked? That worked. And the helper now automatically turned the lights on. Yeah. Um, hop out of you. And we've still got one tipper left, which we're going to be filling up next because this one is full. 21,000. It's probably not so bad to be driving on top of these. They're a, they're a tough tuber. And they're under the dirt. So I can... Because I know we're going to have to uh, be inside there once in a while. Because it's such a short run over here. Um, would it make any difference to have the harvester go the other direction at any point? Probably not. Probably not. Alright. Let's get... Try to trigger him and then pull out. Boy. Always going to collide with him. I'm going to have to do it this way. Alright. Cruise control is on. No, no, no. Go that way. There we go. There, now it's quiet. And if I hit one, that'll slow him down. Now, the question is, is he empty? He's not. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's empty. Alright. Let's... Let's just let him make a circle. Let's go right around him like this. And think about dumping. Which is tough when there's two trailers. It really is. Tell you what. G, Q. Leave you behind. Let's pull in the one. And we'll go... Let's see... Try to get center back. No, no, let's go for a corner. Let's go for a corner. Like so. You get too close and may spill out. And you, but I unfortunately I can't do it blind. You, I have to see that it's at the back. Alright, so you and I have to control I, don't I? Yeah. We're not at a cell point, so it's not going to do it automatically. Alright, boy, that's a lot of Trigger beats. And control I. It's hard to reach across the keyboard for control I. And he's already stopped and waiting for me, isn't he? Nope, he's going the other direction. Alright. This is gonna be a little harder to see. The light is dropping and it's getting very yellow. You are doing what right now? You're backing up. Okay. You're making a big production of it. <laughs> Where are we? 40 minutes into this? We'll take another pass or two and we'll call this one done. You're working really hard to turn that around, aren't you? Because of that tree right there. Uh -huh. Well, it's good to see that he's capable of it. Alright, you're up. Let's get in here. If I follow those tracks, I'm actually in pretty good shape there. That's three. Didn't work. 
My foot was on the pedal a little bit. I have to completely back off on the pedal. Well, that's some weird graphics there. It has to do with the lighting. Yeah, there we go. And 2-2. Two, two. And 1. To curve you back over. You know, it's hard to hear me when I'm zoomed in and the harvester's going. Though he doesn't seem to be as loud as the, uh, the other harvesters. Let's hit 2 one more time and speed up a bit. And then 1. Even this out. So if I can keep making this loop with him, then he's got plenty of, of room to, uh, to run this pass and pick him up again over here. Plenty of capacity to handle that. So that's kind of the routine here. You know, it just isn't the most fun thing to watch for a series, but for myself, I would just keep making this loop over and over again until the, till the field is done. Boy, that is mesmerizing look there as I slowly move the camera around the tops of all of those sugar beets. It's like watching static on an old television. So, tell you what, let's call this one done here. You get the gist of it, see what, what I'm up against. I may not even finish this field. I may start next time just uh, doing one of the other projects on the bucket list. In fact, let's, let's plan that out. We're done with greenhouses. We're can't do potatoes. We can't do poplars yet. I think tomorrow morning, unless something is is um, ready to harvest, one of those, you know, if the other two fields are ready, we might just dive right into field five. That is very much a possibility. Kind of liking that idea. Been anxious to get to that all this time. So, yep, let's call that one done. Call that a plan. Zoom in here. Got to turn my wheel a thousand times. There I am. And it's been Noble Rambler, and I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.